Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome back. It is time for our Rock 2022 AU video, our second album for March for my year-long make-along. So just a note, I'm pre-recording this before the 15th of March. You'll get to see it on the 15th. The reason being is the 15th and 16th of March are quite big speed humps for me to get over every year and I always get a little low so I thought I'd do it early and that way it'd be fine. Um, 15th of March would be my mother's birthday if she was still with us. The 16th of March all I can say is I am truly amazed I made it through all that grief to the other side to be still smiling and getting on with life. But at the time, I did have two little young boys that needed me. And as my mother would have said, you need to endure life. So, Rock 2022, 15th of March. What will our second album be? So, I said I was picking March and 8th of March was International Women's Day. And I was making March about empowering women in music. So when it came to picking the second album, it was very difficult. I couldn't decide. And a lot of the older albums just have like a black and white photo with a bit of color. And I thought, no, we need something to really inspire us through the, to the end of March. So what I did was I took quite a selection from our vinyl records and laid them out on a table. All the female artists I could think of we had at the time, but not all of them. People like Tina Turner, Aretha Franklin, Bonnie Tyler, Olivia Newton-John, Bette Midler, Anne Murray, but that one shocks you, Roberta Flack, all those. And I laid the album covers faced up and I asked Reeves to pick the most creative album that would inspire your projects. And yes, he chose one. The artist and graphic designer in him picked one that is really inspiring. So, who did he choose out of all those amazing female singer-songwriters? Ta-da! Roberta Flack, Feel Like Making Love. He said that is an amazing cover. It has a lot of color, a lot of features, and it's quite creative. So you have trees, there's a bed, the sky, and beautiful colors. So Roberta Flack, Feel Like Making Love, is our second album for the 15th of March. I'll give you a bit of a spiel on what I found out and what I, some of the things I already knew about Roberta Flack. I know the album where, that she recorded, she dedicated it to her friend Quincy Jones. Um, and they were good friends and he's quite um, well now known throughout the Motown music industry and the music industry in general. So she was born Roberta Cleopatra Flack on the 10th of February 1937. I love the name Cleopatra. I think it's the perfect cat name. Don't ask me why, I just do. An American singer and it and she was classically trained, but she sang R&B, um, soul and blues. There was one um, critic when she was raise, rising to fame in about 1971 who criticised and said she didn't fit any genre. She was like Barry Manilow, but he got absolutely caned by other critics and people in the music industry. I can't even remember his name, to be honest, nor do I want to. So as I said, she came to fame in about 1971. Now, if you've never heard of her, you might have heard of her music. Her number one singles, The First Time I Ever Saw Your Face, Killing Me Slothfully with His Song, and of course, Feel Like Making Love. There were other singles that she had, but they're the three when you think of Roberta Flack immediately come to mind, especially um, The First Time I Ever Saw Your Face. That's just sticks with you forever. Flack is noted for her influence on the subgenre of contemporary R&B called Quiet Storm, along with her interpretations of songs by various songwriters, such as Leonard Cohen and the Beatles. She was the first artist to win the Grammy Award for Record of the Year in two consecutive years. 
The first time I ever saw your face was in 73 and Killing Me Softly with this song was in 74. There have only been two other artists since she did it that have achieved that feat and that is you 2 and Billie Eilish. She's a member of the Artistic Empowerment Co Coalition which advocates the rights of artists to control their own creative projects. She's also a spokeswoman for the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Her appearances in commercials for the ASPCA featured the first time I ever saw your face. In the Bronx section of New York City, the Hyde Leadership Charter Schools after school music program is called the Roberta Flack School of Music. She's in partnership with this school who and helped found this school. It, she's a founder of this school, sorry, my English wasn't great. She provide, it provides free music lessons for underprivileged students. That is just incredibly awesome. And that is paying it back for where you are. Roberta Flack, she's about 85 years of age now and in reasonably good health. It's believed around 2016 she had a stroke which sometimes makes her unwell and uh, yeah I think it was about 2018 when she had to stop a performance at the Apollo and leave the stage and was taken to hospital because she wasn't well. For me my favourite song is, what do you think, the first time I ever saw your face. It's pure, it's basic, it's just beautiful. And it always reminds me of people who I've lost from my life that have passed over, hopefully, to a better place. She's a talented and great singer and an awe-inspiring woman. And so hopefully she inspires you with your crafting projects. So in the cover, as I've said, there are trees. There's a bed. There's water that looks like legs. That's it. Reeb said that's what's fascinating about it all and yeah it's just a beautiful color cover the cover was designed by um, Roberta Flack and Lou Stolval I think that's his name um, yeah Stolval and St Lou Stolval actually did the um, drawings for the cover the color choice is amazing on the back is the bedspread so if you're looking for a blanket idea, I think that is great colours with great geometric shapes and inspiring. I have a few blankets on the go, so I'm not sure I'll be doing that. So there you have it, our second album for March, Roberta Flack. Are you surprised? I keep getting, oh, I'm surprised you picked that one. But yeah, I hope you're um, learning a little bit about music and you're still enjoying the Rock 2022 AU Make Along. Don't forget to post your pictures and use the hashtag Rock2022AU or you can email them to me and give me permission to post them in our Facebook group. We've had some great pictures so far for the first half of March and I'm looking to the second half to see what Roberta Flack's album inspires you to do. Remember you can make little projects and you can hop in and out of this make along whenever you feel like it. I'll put a link to the rules about the make along in case you're a new subscriber and you want to join us. It's never too late to join us. So guys, I guess in this world of turmoil we're currently in and the news that's on the TV all the time, let's use music to inspire us to be kind to love one another and to spread peace throughout the world. Until next time, peace be with you.